As you've just seen, the Korean government is moving fast, introducing new measures to boost the economy. And today, the first full assembly of the July extraordinary session also started off by calling a swift passage of a supplementary budget bill. For this and more on the political arena, we turn to our Park ji -won. In its first gathering since the resignation of ruling Senuri Party floor leader Yoo Seung Min the day before, the party's Supreme Council emphasized the importance of party unity. Speaking at their regular meeting on Thursday morning, the council vowed to establish a better line of communication with the president's office. We took this opportunity to achieve stronger party unity and pursue politics for the public. We will prioritize the economy and the livelihoods of the people through better communication among the party, the government, and the presidential office. The party plans to select its new floor leader next Tuesday at a general meeting of its lawmakers. The Supreme Council said the party might use consensus to make the decision rather than a vote in order to avoid further conflict between factions. Meanwhile, the first full assembly of the July extraordinary session began with a budget speech from the president on Thursday, in which she called on the parliament to cooperate in passing a supplementary budget bill for approximately 10.4 billion U.S. dollars. The budget message was read by Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-an. The supplementary budget plan includes items needed to overcome the instability and difficulty that have arisen due to the MERS outbreak and the current drought. Once the plan is confirmed, the government will swiftly implement the budget to help stabilize the economy. The main opposition party, however, criticized the plan and presented their own, which cuts the $10.4 billion proposal to $5.5 billion. We can't agree with a plan to inject nearly $5 billion that aims to make up for a tax revenue deficit without any plans to revamp spending or raise corporate taxes. Our party will cut items not related to the MERS outbreak, the drought or the livelihoods of the people. The ruling party and the government hope to pass the plan by the 20th of the month, but due to the vacancy in the floor leadership of the ruling party and the determined objections from the opposition party, it's not clear whether they will be able to achieve their goal. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.